Welcome anybody that's just joined the stream. Today we're talking about um, stopping comparing yourself, right? So it could be comparing yourself to to others, other bassists, other musicians. Um, it could be strangely comparing yourself to yourself. You know, like uh, maybe you know things that you 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 thought you should have done by now, or or maybe um, you know you were expected to be at a certain level, or I don't know, you know, um, but you start basically comparing yourself um, in a negative way, right? So we're going to kind of talk about that. We're going to break it down into five kind of, you know, subheadings sort of thing. Um, so just before I crack on, anybody else joined us, Jam? Yeah, Laurent's here from France. Hi, Laurent. Hi, uh, how are you? How are you doing? And, oh, Keith Lewington's here. Hi, Keith. He's replying to Robert Bailey, uh, Nirvana bassist, not catching his bass. That ah. was obviously the, uh, the, the link. Right, uh, right. Mark Smith says, I've just spent an hour trying to learn Hammer to Fall. It's a good lesson in finding the A's all over the fretboard. Cool as, oh. cool as. And Ian Fraser, behind every great bassist is a jam. <laughs> that, well, yeah, like that's that. it. I like it too, you know, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so, so what, like I say, let's kind of like start the, the stream proper now, because I'll probably chop all that stuff off after we've finished. So welcome to anybody that's just joined the stream. Today, we're talking about comparing yourself as a bassist or a musician, uh, kind of a universal thing. I mean, this is actually universal to anything in life, but we're keeping it specific today. And it's comparing yourself kind of in a negative way, really, to other bassists, you know, um, you know, it might be that you think other people, you know, are, are, are better than you. You might see people, you know, you might perceive them as progressing faster, perhaps. Uh, people might be, you know, if you're sort of working as a pro or even semi-pro, you might see other players and think, why am I not where they are now? Or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it can get kind of a bit toxic and a bit negative if you're not careful. So, so that's what we're talking about today, and I'm, I've kind of broken it down uh, in my mind into you know five sub uh, topics. So, first of all, what exactly do I mean? Um, secondly, you know my personal backstory with this because this has affected me um, a lot, you know, in 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 different ways and in different periods of my life. So, um, I'll give you a bit of a backstory, not a full life story, you understand. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, we're going to look how it might affect other people and why it can be so destructive. That's number four, by the way. Uh, and number five is how we can deal with it um, and turn it around and make a positive out of it, right? So that's what we're looking at today. And uh, I'd be really keen to hear what your experiences, thoughts, um, ideas, ways of dealing with this, all that stuff, you know, please drop them in the comments uh, and we'll get a bit of discussion going. I'll probably kind of deal with one point at once and then take some questions. So with that being said, are, are there any more questions uh, at the minute, Jan, any, or comments? Well, uh, Stephen McLean has actually said, oh, I'm terrible for doing this. Right, I'm so, sure a lot of us are, right? Yeah, uh, and we've got uh, Dusty Basinger. Basinger. How you doing? Uh, hi from Perth in Australia. So oh, cool as. Yeah, it's like we've got opposite ends of the world, Canada and America and, yeah, France. It's all so over the cool. Place. It it's, is, it's, it's brilliant. It is. It's so cool to kind of like hang out like this on a Sunday. Oh, yeah, really, really important, by the way, just before I carry on, uh, the other big announcement is that uh, after a lot of thought uh, between Jan and I, and taking on what people were saying as well in, in pe previous uh, live post, uh, live streams, sorry. Yeah, taking all the feedback we've had, yeah, because we've been um, sort of asking a lot about, you know, when people, um, when it's good for us to go live and drop videos and all the rest of it. So I think this live stream thing, you know, I think it's it, it's it's a viable thing. I think uh, I enjoy it a lot. Jan enjoys it, um, and I think you guys seem to enjoy it. Um, so we've decided to actually make Sunday uh, every Sunday at four p.m. UK time. So let me just get my uh, times up here. Uh, so that's four o'clock in the afternoon uh, UK time every Sunday. Um, Eleven a.m. Eastern and eight a.m. I know it's quite early Pacific we're going to do a live stream. So it's going to be a live stream every Sunday, obviously, you know, unless something prevails. But yeah, that's the plan. 
And then I'm going to move the pre-recorded, you know, the edited videos, the more studio stuff. Uh, I'm going to drop those every Tuesday at the same time now, at four. Somebody was obviously uh, remembering from previous ideas that you had. Mark yeah. Smith, I thought you were doing a Tuesday night slot. So you've kind of done the reverse, haven't you? Well, I've, I've kind of done the reverse, like in a big way, actually. Um, in that the, this just seems to work so well on a Sunday. See, the truth is, it doesn't really matter in the long term, you know, wh when I drop a video. You know what I mean? It's like a pre-recorded video. Um, yeah, it's great if there's a lot of people online when it when it first hits and, and it helps you kind of grow in, in, in YouTube's um, search results. But in the long term, I could, you know, it, it's not as important. Whereas the live stream, the time that that hits is obviously much more important. And this seems to be a good time. So that's what we've decided to do. Yeah, keep this going um, every Sunday, 4 p.m. And then it, on not, because that was the other thing. The first Tuesday of every month just seems a little bit kind of like hit and miss. It's like, which day is that? And did I miss it and whatever? So if it's just every Sunday at 4 p.m. UK, 11 Eastern and 8 Pacific, then, you know, there's a better chance of this thing growing. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, bless. Mark Smith said he tuned in at 7 p.m. on Tuesday and couldn't find us. Uh, you, see, you see, that was the thing. Oh. It, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's been kind this, of all this over. This is definite now, isn't it? This is Sunday at 4 Solid. p.m. live stream, and then on the Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. No, 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 4 p.m. It's 4 p.m. again. On Tuesday? On Tuesday, yeah. Oh, right, okay. If you want to know the reason, <laughs> you're supposed to look at your stats, look when it gets busy, and drop your video two hours before then. So, you know, that's that's the deal. So it, so basically, that's just a video. I won't be there. I'm not doing a premiere of it or anything. It's just a video lands Tuesday afternoon. You might pick it up Wednesday morning, you know, whatever. But the live streams are every Sunday. So, and also, it makes it easy with the time, 4 p.m. So 4 p.m. UK, whatever that is in your part of the world, on a Sunday for the live stream every week. Right, let's crack on. So the um, the topic of today's live stream, as I said, is comparing yourself, right, to other bases. But we're talking about it in a negative way and how to kind of turn that around. So really quickly, what do I mean by comparing yourself? Well, it's probably pretty self-explanatory, but it's I'm talking about comparing yourself to your peers or, um, you know, other bass players who are kind of in your circle or field, if you like. Um, it might be people online. You know, that's this has got made this thing like worse than ever now. Uh, as opposed to kind of like being inspired by someone. That's kind of different. You know, when you see someone who's really great um, and you're like, oh, man, I don't know if I could ever do that. But it still inspires you to get better. Uh, is there everything good, Jan? Keep looking over. No, sorry. <laughs> it's, all good. it's all good. So uh, so it's the more negative, but we'll look at how you can turn that more into what I just talked about in a minute. Um, another thing is not living up to your own expectations of yourself. So it might be that you thought you should be, I don't know, further on in your base journey by now, or you should be better, or, you know, or maybe, um, you know, you, you kind of had something planned and you're not there yet. So you can beat yourself up about that. So you're kind of comparing yourself to this vision of yourself that you thought you should be. Um, and that's a good thing in some ways. But again, if you dwell on it, um, it can be really negative and you can turn it into a positive. So that's another feeling not good enough, um, you know, when you're comparing yourself to other people. Um, and like I say, feeling like everyone else is doing better. So that is what I mean by this. So before I go on to, um, you know, my personal experience with it and stuff, any more comments come in, Jan, or questions? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Ed Tejeda. How are you doing? I think it is. He says, hello, everyone. I'm 62 years old, been playing for about 30 years. And a few years ago, I came to realize I am what I am. I like where I'm at Great. as a bass player, play covers in the bar in a bar band and love it. Cool. So that's Brilliant. Great. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And just um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Stephen McLean, I have uh, this habit of watching John. Oh, my eyes are going funny. Sorry. <laughs> uh, John Deacon and thinking, why is he so good? And get in my own head when things go astray. Uh, right, it is. It's uh, it's easy, isn't it? To uh... it's it's easy done. Yeah, it's easy done. And and and, and you know, Jan, uh, she you know she's a singer and a musician. Um, you know, but as well, she she's an artist, and 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 I know that she's you know struggled with this, if you like, at, uh, you know, in that 
respect. So it affects a lot of us. So anything else before I carry on, Jan? Uh, yeah, we've, uh, well, just some more people joined us. Chris Kilburn. Hi, Chris Hey, Kilburn. how you doing, Chris? Yeah, great to see you. Uh, and Gary Denyer says he likes listening to us live in his workshop on oh, Sundays. <laughs> nice one. Uh, Terry Donovan says hi from Ireland. Hi. Uh, da, da, da. So cool, like, you know. It's so you know multinational. What's going on? Is it? Yeah. It's amazing. Mark B. Hi from uh, Howdy from Texas. Uh, Howdy, Mark B. Um, yeah, we've got Mark Smiths in the Swansea Valley. So hey. uh, yeah, it's great. Is this the, the the more exotic part of the world? Of course. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So, any more, Jan? Or shall I continue? Uh, yeah, I think if you just continue. Con oh, I got my instructions, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so my second point, like there's five of these, right, is I'm going to talk about my personal, uh, th th this, wow, I'm, I'm going to go red. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my personal backstory and why this subject affects me so much. Right. So, I don't go like like too long on this, but... You know, it's fair to say when when I, when I was a youngster, um, you know, I I was kind of like a pretty underconfident. I think generally, you know, at school, um, I wasn't into sports, you know, so I kind of didn't fit in. It was a very sports orientated school, and um, you know, kind of um, yeah, I, I kind of I suppose I lacked a bit of confidence, um, you know, and uh, there are kind of like underlying reasons it turns out for that, but um, but then again, I got into things like. The first thing I got <laughs> got into was break dancing, you know, and and then I got into BMX. And when I say got into them, I mean like like that became my everything, you know, when I was into those things, uh, and I saw that as being my job. And then, believe it or not, and then I got into music. I got into playing bass, and that was kind of like towards the last year or two of school. Um, and and I realised it was something, you know, I seemed to be all right at, you know. Um, and you know i didn't do well at school i mean it wasn't like a, i don't think there's a lack of you know brains as such or anything like that it's just that you know i just didn't try i didn't you know so um so that yeah the music thing became what i was going to do with my life right so so that that's quite a big thing because all of a sudden you know people were asking me when i'm like 15 16 what are you going to do when you leave school and i'm going to i'm, I'm saying i'm going to be a professional musician right um and and back then, I mean, there weren't really the kind of college courses and things like that that we have now. You know, you were kind of just on your own. So it was, I don't know, it was a fairly out there move to make. But it became, you know, my my everything. It was my identity. And the thing about it is, it became this place, like the stage, if you like, you know, where I could be confident. You could do this thing that people kind of looked up to me a little bit. You know, people that might have laughed at me or like, he's, he's a bit of a weirdo, he's not involved in sports or whatever. You know, all of a sudden it was this thing um, that, that you know, I felt proud to do and, and, and I could hold my head up high and it kind of gave me a bit of confidence, right? Um, only on the stage, by the way. You know, I've always been like super, super shy off the stage. Um, but I think that's the problem. Uh, that Well, that's where the problem started for me is because it became like everything, you know, became my, you know, what I was going to do for my career. And then when I got married, you know, I, I, it was like, I'm going to have to do this to feed my kids and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I did try like other jobs and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't want to go into full life story, but what I'm saying is um, it was like the only thing really that I kind of could stick at and I, and I seemed to have an aptitude for and all the rest of it. So, so when you, when you're in that headspace, you know, when it's like everything, yeah. Um, you know, when it's like of that importance, you know, it's just not just something you can, and there's nothing, I don't mean it in a negative or, or derogatory way, but when it's not just something you do in the evening for a bit of fun or whatever, when like you've got to be this good and you've got to be this successful and blah, 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 you know, it's, um, it's really easy to start falling into that trap if things aren't quite going the way you expected, you know, of like looking at others and going, well, well, why is he, you know, doing that? And, how good do I have to be or like how much do I have to practice or, you know, why have I not achieved this or that, right? Excuse me. So, you know, and this was like back way before the, the you know, the, the days of, of social media and things like that. And of course that just can, you know, just, just magnifies the whole thing, you know? So, so what I'm saying is, um, just kind of bringing it up to date, um, 
um, right up to date, actually. So, like, I, obviously, I made the decision to leave big country a few months ago. And, <laughs> and then, you know, just all of a sudden, ended up in this kind of really difficult place where I'm kind of, all of a sudden, it's like I'm putting my, my head on the chopping block. I'm, I'm, I'm going out there as a, an online bass instructor, you know, like, um, like I'm, I'm, tr- I'm going to try and make a living from this. And believe it or not, you know, I've, I've started to fall into that trap of thinking, well, you know, well, what about that guy? He's like, he's way better than me. And, you know, what about if people don't, you know, like the courses I make and blah, 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 right? And all this stuff, just getting in the way of just getting on with it, right? And, um, and th- this, this started to, to, you know, turn into quite a big deal, um, you know, certainly over the last few months. Um, so I don't know, what are your thoughts on that, Jan, before I carry on? Uh, you, you mean know, like, you personally? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I, there's been many a time I've, I've sort of said to you, look, you know, you, well, and this isn't me being biased, but you are amazing at doing what you're doing. You know, you've had an awful lot of good feedback over, um, over the years from people all over the world. Um, and so I always try to kind of make you realise that you have got your own thing to offer. And, and, she, and, it, and actually, it's kind of good. There's, I think it's important to point out that there's different levels that people want to get to. Yeah. And sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you feel like you, you've never achieved what you want to achieve. But I'm reading a couple of comments, which are nice, yeah. because they set out to do something. You set out when you were 15 to be a professional musician. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you've achieved. But yeah. then it seems to get to the point where you want to, well, I, I can't do this and I'm, I'm no good because look at him. And, but there's, it's nice to read a couple of comments where they've set out their targets and they've reached them and they're happy with that. Well, that's really cool. And by the way, you know, this, this little story I'm telling now, which is taking a little bit longer than I expected, um, you know, is, is not at all like a, you know, it's not, not like an unhappy ending thing. It's just simply that, you know, um, you know, I find myself like doing that thing of comparing myself. So for example, personally at the minute, I'm, you know, and this has been the case for, for the past few years, I'm very passionate about videography and, and I'm getting into video production and photography and all those things. And it, at the minute, and I kind of go through phases, you know, I don't spend my time trolling, you know, uh, bass videos and trying to find new bass players to watch. I don't go to music shops or, or anything like that, you know. Um, you know, but I enjoy playing. I, and, and that's kind of where I was getting lost with things. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm not like as into it as this guy or like, look at him. He's like really into it. You can tell he's, you know. And I was kind of just going down that road. And somebody kind of touched on it already, and Jan did a bit. And it's simply this, right? It's uh, and actually, Laurent's just put it's all about the pleasure of playing, and that's it, right? It is is that I was so hung up, and I can get like this at times, right? You can get so hung up with you know what you need to achieve, you know, if it's if it's your job, for example, you know, you can get so het up with that side of it that you just lose the passion and, 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 and the enjoyment and you just lose sight of why you do it. And the truth of it is, is to flip that round. And th- this is what I'm kind of doing. This is my like latest realization, you know, or, or like, you know, reaffirmation of, of this way of thinking. And that is to, is to just enjoy it, you know, <laughs> just get on with what I do. Like Jan said, you know, Obviously, um, you know, I've got a whole lifetime of experience, you know, I've toured the world, I've taught at college, I've done all that stuff. I don't need to worry about, you know, like my credentials, if you like. It, it's silly, you know. Um, I, I've told you, I love to sit here when you're doing your live streams and you put on the spot time and time again, each each live stream, and uh, you can answer pretty much everything that's thrown at you because of well, the experience that you've got. Well, I'll have a do. But I'll, <laughs> I'll never lie. You know, if I, if I don't know something, I, then, I, you know, I, I will own up. But the point I'm making is that that's how I've managed to kind of flip things around is to go like, you know, just enjoy it, right? Just enjoy playing it uh, and, and do it for that reason, you know. And it's it's just a small kind of switch in the, in, in the way you're thinking, but it's massive, right? Um, and that has allowed me to kind of like see how I can like now progress forward 
uh, and really get cracking hens by being so positive about doing the live streams now and all the rest of it. But I thought I'd just share that with you because it really does affect me um, in, in a big way. And you can pile on other things, you know, like the ADHD and RSD, which means like you're really um, sensitive to rejection or perceive rejection and all that. And it's a big thing to deal with. So, right. So before I crack on, uh, I'm going to talk about how it might affect kind of everybody else now, right? Because that's that's my own personal experience. And because it's, I would say, quite a magnified, like, extreme version uh, of, of what this subject is, I thought it might be a good idea to share, um, you know, and, and maybe just, just because if there's somebody out there who is experiencing this a little bit, uh, maybe they might be surprised to hear that, you know, somebody, you know, like myself who's who's been doing this a long time or whatever, you know, has also suffer with it so any more comments come in jan or questions uh yeah mark smith says um i started on bass so i can play with mates at an open mic night yep i now play every thursday night so i've achieved what i set out to do amazing that's one of the comments where you know so cool it's really nice that they've they've done that yeah uh pete uh Malidi. Uh, I've played at a local band for the last few years in Darwin. Yeah. And when other bass players were in the audience, it used to really put me off and I'd make loads of mistakes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people kind of suffer with that. Yeah. I think it's awful, actually, when there's people, you know. Well, you you don't. That's something that you, you've you not enjoyed when no. we, we used to gig, right? No. I, 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 you know, I've done an awful lot of gigging over the years since I was 16. And uh, yeah, I, if there were people I knew, in the audience then it just used to really affect me um i'm totally happy to do it you know wherever but yeah when i see familiar faces it, as nice as it is it's also quite um yeah testing i think it just kind of puts you on the spot yeah it can you know and obviously that's a funny thing for me because that, that's it going right back to that thing i said when i was a, a kid is you know it's I guess if there's somebody I know in the audience, it, it's like, ah, finally you get to see like what I can actually do, in, you know, instead of being, you know, like a, a shy in the corner kind of dude or whatever, you know. So it's kind of funny. It's different strokes uh, for different folks. So, yeah, talking about like everybody else, you know, how, how this uh, might generally affect people, you know, who aren't sort of so massively, if you like, wrapped up in it, you know. Now, th this, again, I don't mean this in any kind of, derogatory patronizing kind of way or anything like that but you know um when you play music as a passion you know outside of like you, you, your career um there really is something special about that you know and, and it's 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 kind of like horses for courses there's something special about being able to do what your passion is um for you you know your, your job if you like um and and that's really special but it's but when, like our son, we've talked about it this before, our son Ben, uh, one of our sons, he's really talented, you know, like musically. He plays guitar, bass, keys, you know, uh, he produces tracks, he does all this stuff. Not interested at all um, in playing in front of other people. And I know that a lot of people who follow my channel are the same. They just want to play because they enjoy it and it's, and, and it's something, you know, to... Um, to, to relax and unwind to and stuff. And like I say, you know, um, in a way I could compare myself to that and be jealous of that, right? Because it's a great thing is that. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, you might not be so wrapped up like, like I said, like I am with it, but I think there's still, and some people have touched on it, that sense of, let's say you're playing on a, a local level, you know, there's usually in any kind of town or area, like a pool of, of kind of musicians maybe, um, you know, there's like, he's really good at bass and have you heard of this guy and, you know, the local band scene. Um, and it's the same thing, you know, you, you can, you, if you're not careful, you can get hung up with, you know, like, man, I'm never going to be that good. Or, or maybe like somebody said, you know, that said bass player might walk in, um, you know, and it kind of happened in reverse. I, I went to a gig not that long ago. Uh, and honestly, I'm the most you know, supportive, kind of, you know, like building people, like, like you know what I mean? I, do, I always see the, the good in people. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy uh, to nitpick at people or, or you know, uh, negatively, uh, you know, what's the word? 
criticise what they're doing or anything like that. And there was a bass player in, and, and he, he's a, a known bass player, you know, and uh, and yeah, I went over to chat to him. I was like to compliment him on his playing and his sound. And he was like, oh, oh man, I, I, when you came in, I was like, uh, you know. And I'm like, what? You know, like, give over. So, I, you know, people are genuinely affected by that. Um, and it's, yeah, it, it's a thing. So so let me just take a pause. Let me look at my notes. <laughs> So I think I'm just starting to waffle. Um, but essentially, Laurent, I think, said this, and this is what I've got written down here for, for real, um, is in the middle here, is, is do it for fun. You know, so whatever level you're at, whether you're pro, whether you're trying to be pro, whether you're just doing it for fun, whether you're in a bedroom, whatever you're doing it for, that is the key, is to go back to that place and just realise, listen, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm enjoying myself, as long as I'm making progress and getting better in my own space and my own world, then that is all that matters. So any more comments? Come on, Jan. Uh, yeah. Or come in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> come on, come in. <laughs> come uh, on. Can Voodoo, uh, he's uh, hi Law from Kafili. Hello. And uh, Hugh Gamer 67 says, good day from Tesco Car Park. I know that is how you do it. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> uh, now, that is the most exotic location we've had yeah, so far, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we like to go to Asda Car Park just to watch the sunset, don't we, Scott? <laughs> Um, got too much information sun- going out there, Jan. <laughs> There's a beautiful sunset from Burnley as to car park, so if you ever fancy a nice trip there. Um, right, Gary Daniel says, sometimes it takes years to jump up a level. It took me years to learn double thumbing, and one day it just happened. No idea why. Um, uh, let's call Jevon, uh, Javins. I find that now I'm playing with a gigging band. The theory side has taken a back seat as mm-hmm. my main purpose now is to learn songs as i'm relatively new to the bass this can be uh <laughs> but then it, that's it uh so right yeah yeah but sorry i was just laughing because like mark mojo morris is <laughs> more waffle than a bird's eye <laughs> love you scott <laughs> yeah that is funny. love you too oh wow <laughs> Lee, liam barber oh this is nice hey scott keep doing what you're doing fantastic musician very nice. He's also a fantastic musician. Yeah, um, you know, great drummer. Great drummer, yeah. Uh, Which is the same thing. I know some people won't have it, but yeah, he, he is a <laughs> great backing vocalist as well. I, Lead vocalist. I don't think I've heard him sing over the years. Actually. He's awesome. Looks a little bit like Huey Lewis in the right light, you know. <laughs> uh, Chris Kilburn, hate hearing about people's troubles. Um, this is going back, I think, when you were talking about when you, you know, with your ADHD, the things you've, the issues you've had with it and being yeah. a musician. Uh, he says, it's amazing where you've come. We need to be so much kinder and help the youngsters. I love your attitude. Thank um, you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Can Voodoo says, it's your personality I like as much as you're playing. That's about you, Scott. Um, it's all fake, you know. <laughs> no, thank you. That's very kind. Thank you. Gary Denyer, skill is one thing, experience is another. I would much rather take advice from an experienced person. The skill side benefits from that. Well, yeah, you know, th- thank you. I don't know if that's directed, you know, myself or just generally, but you know, um, yeah, it's it, yeah. I think thanks for it. <laughs> um, it's just nice to, to for you to hear the comments. It is. Chris yeah. Kilburn says you are so good enough. Janet's right. It will make you, Scott. A friend of mine left the Cure after the first album, wow. and was the best thing he did. Right. Uh, and obviously, you saw the comment that Laurent said. You know, it's all about the pleasure of playing. Um, Terry Donovan, I never wanted to play bass. I was classically trained on trumpet and was learning right. classical guitar. And my new wife, this was 40 years ago, his new wife, yeah. made me audition on pub uh, on bass Sorry for a pub band to help pay our mortgage. Right. Now, this is a funny thing because on this page, I can't read the rest of it. Hang All on. right, okay. Uh, and, oh, that is it, actually. That's that it. it. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, S number. Hello from Kentucky. Oh, but I love it now. He says, but he loves it now. Right, got you. Uh, S number. Hello from Kentucky. Don't compare yourself to anyone other than who you were yesterday. That's a great thing. That's Uh, it. That in a nutshell. Yeah. He says, there's a reason I follow your pages. I'm a bass player who loves and finds inspiration in your style of playing. Well, thank you for that as well. Really, really, really nice, encouraging words. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Stephen McLean says, in the past five years, I've been asked to join a covers band and two originals band. I joined them both, then panicked I wasn't good enough. 
I now love the challenge of jumping between three bands. Wow. Well, that's a bit of a change, isn't it? You know, yeah, that's that's not feel real confident. progression, right? Really is. Um, uh, Anthony, um, Great Banks is here. How you doing, Anthony? Good uh, to see you, man. Hi, Scott and Jan. Scott has his own style of teaching, which a lot of people can relate to as he gets it across uh, his point routine, simply and always enjoyable. Um, Very kind. Thank you. And Mark Smith, it seems that whatever level you're at, you still want to get better. You could be brilliant, but still feel frustrated that you're not just a bit better. And that is true, isn't it, that? Yeah, it is. So what I'll do, Jan, I'll take, we'll take a pause for a minute. Yeah. Thanks for those comments. Thank, thanks for the really encouraging words as well. That's lovely to hear, right, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move on to my fourth of five points. Um, and uh, and what I've written here is is why can this kind of comparison thing be so destructive? What I will say is it's really encouraging and, and, and super positive to hear that a lot of people, it hasn't been an issue for them, you know, so that's really cool. Um, you know, some sometimes um, it's just that people are a little thicker skinned than others. Sometimes it's because, you know, they... they they're, they're doing what we're talking about from the outset, you know, where we're going to go in point five. So that's really positive, and I'm really, really glad about that. And uh, a lot of success stories there as well, how people have kind of overcome, um, you know, dealing with this. So I've just put what, you know, why can it be so destructive, point four? Um, and really it's things like, um, I've kind of hit this point already, you can end up feeling not good enough, like you'll never get there. It can lead to a lot of self-doubt, you know, and even, you know, kind of, you know, if it's extreme, you know, it can even lead to like depression, giving up, maybe, you know. Um, it can, this is a big one as well. Uh, it can lead to jealousy and that is a really dark place to go. Just one second. I'm getting cold. Hang on. <laughs> Put the heating on. Put in the heating on. Um, you know, and I've said this, yeah, it can feel like giving up. So, so I kind of think that's all the negative stuff. We can kind of, you know, put that to bed now we know what we're talking about and i'm going to move on to point five which is how we can deal with it and turn things around and kind of turn this all into a positive right so just before i waffle on <laughs> more than birds eye <laughs> about that anybody else kind of got any comments jan to join in i'm getting hungry now you're talking about waffle <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, Laurent says, as I once told you, change of instrument can trigger a new pleasure of playing. Um, yeah. And obviously, uh, Laurent's been getting some basses uh, off Gary, hasn't he? And, uh, you know, hand-built basses and seems yeah, to be enjoying magnificent. the different... Yeah, Yeah, they yeah. look lovely. Yeah. Uh, Sam's tinkering around, says, hi, Scott. Had to work, How you doing? almost missed you. Um, but he's also said, I think it was a bit further down... Uh, yeah, there is so much out there, people attempting to teach bass. I find that I keep coming back to you. You're you're good at what you do. Um, Very kind, thank you. Gary Denyer says, Scott, you have both vast experience and skill technique. Uh, you are personable and a great communicator. That's very kind as well, thank you. And like, by the way, you know what... Um, you know, uh, I hope people <laughs> didn't take this as I was kind of looking for sympathy. I thought I'd just share. And I'm really, by the way, I'm not, uh, you know, thanks so much, everybody, for the positive comments. But, yeah, it, I just thought it might be kind of useful to, to share my experience because it's been so intense, you know, over the years um, in that respect um, that, like I say, you know, um, if I can get over it, then anyone can, you know. So any more, Jan? Um, yeah, Terry Donovan said it is different playing to an audience than playing to pro musicians. You know they are as critical as you, uh, as you, as you would be of them, even if it's positive criticism. Yeah, can I quickly pick up on that, by the way? Because it's um, this is a really funny thing in that um, you know people can be really like other musicians can be really negative and really picky and things like that. And um, you know, I think that's a it's a terrible thing. I think musicians should lift musicians up. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But I remember um, somebody telling me they went to, um, like, a, I can't remember, like, a, what's that band you're into, Jan? Um, Cutting Crew. Yeah. Or something like that. It might not have been those guys, but some some band of that ilk, you know. Um, it might not be them because I know the bass player from them. And it wouldn't be. Anyway, somebody went to watch him and, and, the person they'd gone with was like, bass player can't be any good. Why is that? Oh, he's only playing it. And it was like, 
instead of it being, it was maybe a Music Man sub instead of being a Stingray or something like that, you know. And that's what you're up against, unfortunately, which just shows you why you should not take, you know, any heed of like what, um, you know, other musicians think because that's just a ridiculous nonsense thing to say. You can't, this bass player can't be any good because he's playing a cheap bass, right? So, um, but it still, you know, it still gets to you and stuff. So, yeah. Any more, Jack? That does seem to be a thing, doesn't it? With some people, if you're not playing a particular instrument, they they seem to think, ah. Uh, oh, yeah, you know. yeah. They kind of judge with their eyes and what they know, you know, rather than just like being open minded and listening, you know. So it's a shame, but it's a thing. Yeah. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Ian Fraser, I was involved doing cream numbers in the 60s and rehearsing on my own was a big problem. So I very quickly had to accept that I wasn't good as Jack Bruce. <laughs> uh, now I'm crossing over here. Maybe his dad didn't tell him to turn that bloody thing down. <laughs> but I had to quickly accept that I would aim to improve it in time and for the moment just play what was in my head. It's all so much easier these days. I wasn't put off though. That's the message. <laughs> It's great, yeah. Now, so so that's it. What I'm going to do, Jan, I'm going to dive into uh, bullet point number five. Yeah, there's a lot of comments, actually. Yeah, so maybe yeah. Uh, people can just kind of catch up. Yeah, it and... that's it. Um, so so basically, how can we deal with this, you know, and turn things around into a positive? So the first thing is, and it's been touched on by so many people in, in the comments, is, you know, turn it round from, you know, from being like comparison. So, so rather than compare yourself, you know, uh, find inspiration in other players, right? So whether it's, you know, the guy next door, you know, whether it's someone on YouTube, um, you know, someone in another local band or whatever it is, you know, rather than, you know, kind of compare yourself and, oh, well, you know, how does he do that? And, you know, um, then, you know, just find inspiration in it, you know, that's the thing. Be like, wow, you know, I wouldn't mind doing that, you know. Um, and and with that, you know, make friends and allies of, of, of these people, you know. Um, don't, there's a really sad story, um, you know, just really quickly. Is it, there's a, 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 I can't really call him a local bass player because he, he hails from just, or hails from just down the road from me, um, called Simon Golding. Um, and, um, and he passed away, um, when was it it just after Christmas? I think it was before, before, I think, you know, this guy was beyond talented, right? You know, if, um, if you go on on YouTube after, after, after the stream and type in Simon Golding bass, uh, and just check him out, just like an astonishing musician. And, um, and I never kind of got the opportunity to get to know him right so you know so there was a there was a, a point where you know i'm gonna, not gonna lie you know there was that kind of he was in my sort of circle of you know radar of, of we were doing the same sort of sessions and things like that and there was that element of like oh man you know like he, i think he's a bit better than me and he i think he practices more than me and he did you know and it's so easy to kind of get into that mindset and i just know that if i'd have ever got the chance to meet the guy you know, and chat with him. I just know we'd have got on like a house on fire. Uh, and then we'd have probably learned from each other and things like that, you know. But, you know, we all keep this distance. But, oh, well, you know, he's like the competition or whatever, you know. And it's just, it's so silly because it's too late now with that guy, you know, I'm almost sort of filling up. But, you know, he's gone. So, you know, make allies and make friends of of people. Don't, you know, distance yourself from them, you know. So that's that's one thing. And with that being said, the other thing is to appreciate talent and beauty in others, you know. So, and I've made a real thing of this. Uh, This is kind of like, you know, my, this is how I turn things around. Is, you know, if I see someone and they're they're just, you know, you know, even if they're not great, they've just started doing something. Just the fact that somebody's trying, somebody's getting into playing an instrument. Sorry, I'm going to take a drink. (laughs) You know, um, then we should build that up. We should see joy in, the joy in that. Like, wow, you know, this guy's having... When we used, I used to do jam nights uh, and people would get up and they'd be like, you know, wavering, the pitching would be all over, but they were getting up and having a go. And, you know, and everybody would support them. Yeah, you know, 
it's not like false. You know, you've got to be careful. You don't want to tell people they're brilliant when they're not. But just, you know, learn to be like really suited for people, you know, really um, appreciate when people are doing well. And I think it's that, you know, uh, good karma thing. You know, if you put out that, that joy and whatever um, in lifting others up, I think eventually that kind of comes around to you, you know. So, uh, so yeah, learn to uh, praise others and build them up, uh, make allies. I mentioned that as well. And then the biggest thing of all, and, and this has been touched on again, is just learning to be the best you you can be. That's all that matters, you know. Uh, as long as you're making progress, you know, if it's like 1% at a time, you know, if this month you feel like you're like 1% better than you were last month, you know, that's all that matters. And the other thing, which is kind of equal for that, so that's personal growth and development. The other thing that's equal is that you're just enjoying it, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so any more comments come in? Yeah, Gary Denya says... Uh there is always someone better than yourself. I love to learn and ask questions of these people. It's just pure joy. That's great. It's a great attitude. Yeah. 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 Uh, Ian Fraser, it's not just other people's talents that I was up against. Other basis equipment can be a problem as well. I often wanted to sound yeah. like Chris Squire, but that is a real money. It's real money to get that live. Yeah. Um, Laurent, uh, let's have a look. As in life, some people don't like when you succeed to, in anything. C'est la vie. They, that is actually a thing, you know? It is true. Um, uh, let's have a look. Mark Smith said he'd heard of Simon Gold and he thinks he once gave him some advice over Facebook in the early days. Amazing uh, going, musician. Going Amazing. back to the gear thing, um, Stephen McLean says, I played a three-hour gig last week with an SX jazz bass that cost me under... 300 pounds the whole argument is just bunkum <laughs> well it, well it is and and obviously maybe we can have a right good you know a right good food fight about gear on, on what we'll do it you know yeah. on, on, but you know uh, you you actually went through a phase where you loved it didn't you you'd have a base for like 100 pound and do a gig and people would be like that bass sounds amazing what is it ah well <laughs> yeah it, yeah it's always been a, a thing of mine that you know um and i'm uh, completely with him on that um but yeah, that's another story. But uh, and DM sixty five, I support anyone who gets on a, a stage to entertain, regardless, as it takes nuts to get up there in the first place for your entertainment. It does. Yeah, yeah it, it does. does. It, it does. You know. So any more, Jan? Uh, there are, but I'm kind of I've, I've lost to the. <laughs> She's uh, lost the plot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just that there's so many coming in. Uh, there, you Which know, is ace, by the way. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, like I've said this before. It's, it's a, these Sundays are about, about discussion. You know, it's like a kind of melting pot of ideas, and you know, it's we all learn from each other, um, and it's great to hear everybody's experiences. It's inspiration, you know. This this comment, uh, this is one I think I read out a bit earlier. Uh, S Nember uh, Nember uh, from Kentucky, and I think this is the overall thing for me. Don't right. compare yourself to anyone other than who you were yesterday. And I think that's a great... You can aspire to be that's as it. good as people, but I think as long as you make progress, I think, you know, and, and you're better than you were yesterday, I think that's a good thing to, to live by, really, on that. Completely. And that's kind of like, I think, where I left point five is 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 just personal growth. And that's why I kind of threw... I stole it, right, that idea of that 1% better. Um, because the... The YouTube marketing course that um, that Jan and I are doing, um, the, the guy's called Sean Cannell, um, and he's just fantastic, and and he uses that that phrase a lot, you know. But this is in, in terms of video production and marketing, you know, just just be one percent better than you were last week, you know, or or make every video one percent better, you know. And it's just that idea of, you know, it, it, you don't have to sort of get better by a massive amount don't expect to be like twice as good you know to be able to nail slapping in a week or whatever as but as long as you, you're a tiny bit better you made progress and that's all that matters you know it's hard isn't it anything you try to do to better yourself it, it is a hard journey and sometimes it, you, you doubt yourself but you you have got to just keep at it and have uh you know positive thoughts about it yeah and and just actually one thing i meant to mention along the way somewhere is that at the same time as all this that I've just said, right, um, you should never 
I don't think let yourself off the hook. That you know, yeah, just get a little bit better. It's really, really important and stuff. Um, but what I mean is, you know, is for me personally, I never wanted to fall into that trap of going, you know what? Like, I'll never be able to do that. So I'll just accept it and give up. You, you know what I mean? Like, you still want to aim towards that. That's your one percent better. Um, but not panic about it, you know. Um, and don't here's another one, right? Don't lose sight of what people like about you now. You know, I've seen this with musicians is they've got to a certain point, people absolutely love what they do. And then they kind of like want to just progress and get further and further. And they kind of lose the thing that people liked about them in the first place. So, you know, you've, you've got to appreciate where you are now as well, you know? So any more, Jan? Uh, like I say, there's an awful lot now where I'm just kind of trying to go back and think of the ones that I've not read. Who's uh, made the best comment? But read that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, not right is it <laughs> i think the best comment was the bird's eye waffle <laughs> <laughs> that's the best one of all yeah fantastic by the way just before we kind of wrap it up it's really late in the game <laughs> to be even mentioning this but there is a little thing called super chat on all these live streams now this is what i'm doing full time now um and let me tell you it doesn't make a living at all yet so if anybody is getting value out of the streams uh, there are a lot of people already support the the channel by paying a little bit each uh, month and things like that. You can become a member, but yeah, if you just want to like just support the channel in a monetary way, in a li you can just kind of go. I think you click the little dollar symbol and you can just make a little. It's it's kind of like um like a tip jar, right? You know. So uh, I should get into mentioning <laughs> this stuff, but there you go. Anything else, Joe? No. Nope. <laughs> well, that's that then. Right, so what I'll do, uh, I haven't played any bass, right? I mean, uh, this is, I feel a bit ridiculous about that, but uh, I'll just um, I'll just do a little bass jam just to kind of finish this off, see if any more comments come in, Jan, yeah? Yeah. And, um, you know, talk about, you know, putting your head on the chopping block. I haven't played, my hands are cold. Uh, people, uh, they won't be interested, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. That was just a bit of a, a mess around. So anyone <laughs> commented just oh before no. we go? It's it, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't play anymore. Have they all gone? <laughs> no, Mark Smith. He says, this guy's amazing. I'm giving up now. I'll never be that good with a sad face. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. I think, I think <laughs> They'll be moral, daft. I think the lesson learned today was that you don't give up. Lesson fail. <laughs> um, no, that's too good. Don't be silly. <laughs> Terry Donovan. Oh, I'm giving up bass. Give over. Ian Fraser. Okay, Jack Bruce didn't phase me too much. Scott just has. <laughs> don't be daft. Oh, now we've got a lot of, I don't know, kinky whatever oh, links no. coming I'll up. Click, save aye. that link for after. No, no. Oi, oi. <laughs> right, report and block. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't think that was the plan. I think the plan is to be inspired. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought it was rubbish, to be honest. But, you know, yeah, no, it's very kind. But, no, I just thought I'd not played the entire stream. And uh, I know that, you know, it's a bass. 
stream. Any more, Jan? Um, sorry, I was just trying to get of, rid of all these things. Uh, Mark Smith, I'm joking. <laughs> Pat Delaney's <laughs> joined us. Hi, hey, uh, hi John how Scott. Doing, Pat? Hi, Pat. Good uh, to see you. Sam's tinkering around. Boom, boom. <laughs> Tr- <laughs> Tracy Chapel, fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah, you can't beat a bit of funky slapping, can you, Scott? Well, you know. So, with that being said, that's uh, the stream. Like I said, before it dies off, if anyone uh, was inspired or wants to just drop a, a little super chat, you click the little. What is he? Doll- oh, I will just say Gary Denyer uh, was asking about uh, Patreon. He said he he'll subscribe to Patreon if he can. You can tell him where to go, sort of thing. <laughs> tell him where to go. Well, I mean, in the nicest way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, yes. so yeah, thanks, thanks for that. Um, so yeah, so really quickly, ways you can support the channel uh, moving forwards um, are you can if you hop on Patreon. Um, let me just see if you if I can drop some links. Patreon, if you, I think if you search for me on there, um, this is really bad. I meant to have all these links ready. Um, Scott Whitley. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll update the description of this video later. But yeah, um, if you search me on Patreon, I don't think there's anyone called Scott Whitley except me on there. So we're all good. Uh, I don't really do much over there. I've got to be honest. Um, I've put a more of my effort into kind of keeping it in house in YouTube. And there's a membership thing um, where you can click on that. That's going to get really exciting. Now I'm, you know, really back in work mode and Jan's helping me out with the admin side of it. So that's a similar thing. Uh, I think you, you click, you go on my channel and click join, I think it is. And then you can join for one ninety nine, something like that, a month. Uh, and every little helps, you know. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a shop on my YouTube channel. You can buy, uh, you can buy mugs and T-shirts and stuff like that. So anything like you fancy off of there, or if there's something you fancy and you don't see it that you'd like us to add to that, let us know. Um, but thanks in advance for anyone that helps out in that respect. Because like I say, this is kind of, um, this is it for us now. You know, uh, I'm not gigging anymore, so we've got to build this thing up. Anything we're kind of, else, We're kind John? of being quite daring, aren't we? We're really just, we're sort of putting our faith into everything and we're really going for everything. I, I'm doing my art uh, and kind of learning more. Yeah. Because uh, I'm trying to get better at that. Um, and you're really, you've decided to really go for this on the YouTube and various things, haven't you? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah it, that's it. It's a leap of faith, really. So, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. So, thanks again, everybody. Um, like I say, don't forget, every Sunday, that's it. Now, this is definite. You know, every Sunday, 4 p.m., uh, we're going to do a live stream, okay? Um, and and Tuesday. They, they won't all be quite so syllophosical. <laughs> Is this one? Oh my god, these links that keep coming up. It's just the same thing. Go away. I'm reporting every oh. single one. Uh Pat Delaney says if you put um a beanie stroke hat on your shop, he'll buy one to go with the muggy has. Got it. I'll I'll be yeah. on that. Good call. Yeah. You know, I mean I don't know. I don't understand fashion or uh, like what looks good or what people like. So so I really appreciate these comments. I will get that done. Yeah. Any more, Jan? Uh da, da, da. Once again, very inspiring. That's Mark Smith. Um, thanks, Mark. And uh, Ian Fraser, thanks, guys. Take care. Uh, Thank Mark you. Smith says, beef strong enough for me now. Uh, forget hammer to fall. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and Stephen McLean, going to sign up for the YouTube channel. This is fun. Thanks Brilliant. so much. Thanks so much. Like, um, yeah, and, and that is, is you know, um, it's really going to get um, happening now. Just going to leave you with one last funny thing. Last week's live stream, after the uh, after the live stream, Jan and I went out for uh, a meal. We had it planned, you know, nothing fancy, two for one, that kind of thing. And uh, and uh, we were sat there, and I looked down at my t shirt, and I thought, <laughs> what t shirt is this I'm wearing? So if you want to giggle, like go on my YouTube videos and find the last stream. See right. if you can notice anything. Yeah. And I was like, what t shirt am I wearing here? And then I got this cold feeling come over him. I'm like, oh no. It's inside out, right? You know, so I realised I'd done the entire live stream last week with what, at this moment, right? When when I realised, I thought it was inside out. I was expecting the label to be here and all the bit, but Jan said, "No, it's back to front." <laughs> no, you said, is this, is, "Have I got my t-shirt inside out?" And I said, "No, it's not inside out." And he was like, no. "All oh, right," and I went, "It's back to front." Yeah, so it was like all black, just plain black, and all ruched up like this, you know. And I'm like. 
Really? I just went out to the world like that. So, yeah, I thought I'd make you laugh. Anyway, a beanie. Get it in your shop. As, uh, Sam's stinking around says, doing beanie, it. I'm down. We're so, doing it. You yeah. know, so that's it. Live stream every Sunday at 4. Every Tuesday at 4 p.m. there'll be uh, uh, an edited video released, you know. Um, and news coming soon of uh, the um, the live workshop. And and the live workshop, yeah. Now, Jan, basically, like, like I said before, Jan's coming on board uh, in a kind of administrative kind of role, and she's going to like not knock me into shape. <laughs> so uh, you know, so uh, you know, rather everything being on on my kind of shoulders and radar, Jan's going to help with that. So yeah, thanks everybody, uh, and don't forget to share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. So it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from me. See you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. bye.